Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Jordan Martin with Martin Investment Group and Martin Stock Club. There's going to be a couple of stocks to look at for tomorrow. And uh, it's been a pretty dry week, I'll say, um, unless you're able to get in some good scalps. Uh, that's what I did a lot of today. But if you're looking at it overall, and quite frankly, SPY has just been moving sideways um, pretty much the whole week. We did end up going bearish and golfing the day. So we might end up seeing some more downward movement tomorrow. Uh, but overall, based on the price action from Friday, pretty much just moving sideways for the most part, right? So with that being said, um, some of the setups I'm looking at for tomorrow are going to be inside days. And I'm looking at either trading them inside of the inside day range or or with really within inside their mother bar or outside bar um, or looking at them for the break to trade the breakout. So um, first one I'm looking at is Datadog and looking just like spy right so i'm gonna look at the break above or the break below um really this candle out here on the 23rd so we can break out that range i want to see uh really want to see some move upward right here after we've been so sold off uh, but of course if we come down then here's my target to the downside you know this low uh, we can break and move up and then we got some ways to go we'll probably take profits at about 92 and then to take profits again around 94 uh, and then 95, right? So that's gonna be trailing stops like I always call out in the Discord. Um, as the stock moves in our favor, I prefer not to trim contracts, but I really wanna get and squeeze the most out of whatever I have. So that'll be just moving a stop loss along the way um, and trailing it rather than taking off profit and letting you know, a few contracts run. Uh, we want to go get the most we can with all our contracts. So I'm going to set an alert for that break of this high, which is 907. So I'm going to set an alert at 9011, just so I get alerted that we are indeed making highs. And then to the downside, 8609. I'm setting an alert for 8604. So I get an alert for that. We got DocuSign. Same deal, right? The blocky sign. Um, ultimately, I really want to break this low first before I try to trade this. It's not enough room. Uh, but if we make a new low, then we see that we got which whoo, yeah, we got a lot of room to the downside if we can take out this low. Uh, so this low is 51.12 on a week. We can take it to the daily. Right, and it's the same low 51.12. So that's really the low I'm gonna shoot for. I mean, it doesn't have to come up tomorrow. This could be something that triggers on a Friday even, and I won't have a problem going ahead and hopping in. And that's what I'm gonna look at for the downside. I don't think I really wanna trade DocuSign um, up. It's an opportunity, but um, I really like the chances if we go down. I'll still set an alert for the upper move, 54.65. And we can go 54. 70 for the alert, but I really like the, um, the amount of room we have to the downside. And then PayPal, uh, PayPal does present an opportunity to trade it within the range of the inside bar. So what I'm looking at PayPal to the upside specifically, we did go bearish engulfing um, previous day. So we could get a bearish continuation if we break the bearish and go from the low. But if we come to the upside on PayPal, 87.70 was the high. So I'm gonna go ahead and set an alert for 87, uh, 76, so I can break that 75 level. Once we take out that, we can go ahead and head up towards $89 and be able to capture about a dollar move um, to the upside. So, so I'm looking at that on PayPal to the downside. We could take that out, have a continuation with the bearish engulfing. Um, I don't know if I really want to trade that either. Kind of like DocuSign is, you know, it's going to have to make a decent size move. Uh, I'm not really sure how much more of the move is going to come. And if it's worth getting in after that move's already been made, I'm still going to set the alert so I can be aware and I can come back and look at it. Set it at 8409. And that's it. So those are three stocks I'm looking at. Of course, there's always more. Uh, but of course, you're going to see those in the Discord where we call them out every single day, me and my team. And as always, if this is helpful, 
like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out the description for important links um, to anything else you want so that you continue to learn and expand your knowledge with trading. Y'all have a good trading day.